Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card that's similar to this, but I'm going to do the next one in black. Now for this I've used um, the Versal patterned panels and this one is Floral Blooms. Now these dies come in two parts, so you can use this outer edge to create your base card. You can use this panel on its own to cut the pattern into the card or you can use the two together and cut out the panel that's patterned with the, the flowers and that's what I've done for my card. Now I've cut this panel twice because they're going to be glued together but for one, for the first part I'm using this on its own. So I've cut myself a piece of watercolour card that's just the same size as the panel and I'm going to lay those down so that they don't move and then with a pencil you can take them down if you want to with a pencil I'm just going to trace out very lightly where those flowers are so once I've traced my flowers out onto my watercolour card I've just taped it down to a board so that it doesn't warp too much and I'm going to use some watercolours to create the, the flowers on the card. So I can move that out of the way for now. And then with a brush, I'm just going to wet the whole card. So I've got that nicely wet now. And then with a smaller brush, I'm just going to take some colour. So I'm coming down to use my red and then I'm just going to, with lots of water, I'm just going to dot this onto the card where those flowers are. So we've done the watercoloured panel and I bet right about now you're thinking that she's totally lost the plot but bear with me, it will finish up really really pretty. So I'm just going to take the tape off and that's helped to keep the panel reasonably flat so I can get rid of that as well. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, take, is glue these two pieces together. So now that you've got those glued together, you're going to pop them over the top of your painted flowers. And doesn't that look really, really pretty? So there's my black card base ready. It's a top folded card. I'm going to add my panel with some foam tape. So from the retro birthday dies, I've cut happy birthday three times in black and I've glued them together. And I've also cut myself a little parchment circle that I'm going to add the words to. So I'm just going to put some glue on the bits that won't be seen from the front of the card. So we'll just add that to the parchment circle and then again under the words that can't be seen 
I'm just going to add some more glue and I'm going to pop that onto the front of the card just along there. So there you've got a really pretty card and I haven't lost the plot because it's turned out very nice. So there's one in black and there's one in white. So there you have some really easy cards to make with tonic dyes. Very quick and simple, just a little bit of watercolour in and a nice sentiment. I hope you enjoyed the video and please give it a thumbs up if you have. And why not subscribe to my channel so that you never miss a video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.